Adobe Lightroom is one of those programs that I could not live without, especially if you take a lot of photographs. Organizing your catalog can be, well, let's just say challenging without a program like Lightroom. And I love the fact that it can do most of my edits all within the same interface so I can organize and I can edit. But there's always one big feature that's been missing for me in Lightroom and that's the ability to effectively search for images. Now I have hundreds of thousands of photos in my catalog, but let's just say, for example, I want a picture of a lion that I took at a zoo. Well, maybe I took that picture in 2015 or maybe it was 2016 and I can start searching through the catalog. Now, of course you can effectively name your folders that are gonna help clue you in. And of course you could meticulously go image by image on your imports and keyword your images, but that's almost impossible with the amount of photos that we can take these days on a digital camera. And I don't think most people are out there meticulously keywording every single file, um, you know, as they do an import, it, it's just not effective. So what if there was a way just to say, show me every picture with a lion in it in Lightroom? Well, there is. So let's take a look at Xire's Search 2, the updated AI-based plugin for Lightroom that will find just about any photo in your catalog like that. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're here in Lightroom and as you can see from my catalog here, here's my 2022s and you can see I have pictures going all the way back to 2006. So when I'm searching for something I mean, you know, I, I may know approximately when I took a photo, maybe it was, you know, 2015, 2016. And I generally name my folders with keywords in them. So if I went to a zoo, I would name it zoo. But even still, let's say I did find the folder, then I would have to go through the whole film strip looking for the specific photos from that day at the zoo that I was looking to find. And Sure, I could have meticulously keyworded every single image, but I mean, we're talking about literally thousands and tens of thousands of images. Uh, so it, it's not reasonable really to think that you're going to do something like that. So this is where XR Search 2 is just unbelievable. So I, I mentioned lions. So let's, let's just take a look and we'll just hop over to <clears throat> library, excuse me, plug in extras. And then you will see the XR Search submenu here. And we have all sorts of different options. And, and my favorite, and, and I'll, go, I'll go through a bunch of these with you, but my favorite is search by keyword. So I can bring up search by keyword and the interface opens up. Let's go just back one higher level. And you'll see we have a top level here of various things that we can drill down on. So we could open up animal and then we could open up say amphibian and then maybe we we're looking for a frog or a marine mammal. Uh, fish or a dolphin or you know whatever it might be right so we can really drill down on these things and then you know we have big cat farm animal etc etc right so we could also choose dominant colors so if we were looking for something that had say a, a gray as a dominant color excuse me let me get rid of that uh, we could we could then drill down by you know animal with gray as the predominant color you know we could we could do you know any of these other catalog uh, colors and we can search our entire catalog, meaning every image we've ever taken, or just the film strip, meaning just the film strip that's currently open on our screen right now. But let's say, I don't know, let's, let's say we, would, we do wanna pick a sea lion, right? So we could just type in sea lion. And there it is, it comes right up, and it's gonna tell me right now I have 80 pictures of sea lions. All I need to do is click the plus sign right there, and now we have sea lions and maybe I want the predominant color to be blue. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Let's try. Let's see what we get. So what XI search does is it now builds a collection and we have three images and let's see how it did. Well, that's a manatee. So that's close. That's a dolphin and there's a sea lion. All right. So maybe blue wasn't the best choice, but I just wanted to show you. Let's go back to plugin extras and we'll search by keyword again. Let's take out blue. Let's hit the start button. And now we're just doing sea lions. And now you can see right away, we have basically done really great with our sea lion search. And 
we have a whole bunch of sea lion photos now that we can go through right out of fingertips. I mean, literally, just push a button. You saw how fast that was. And here we have all of our different sea lion pictures to choose from. And you'll notice as it gets down to the very end, it starts to get a little bit looser. And you'll see we do get some mixed in shots here. This is, again, the dolphin that came up. Not quite a sea lion. We have a manatee in here. Again, not quite a sea lion. But, um, you know, the very, very beginning of the collection is spot on. And then as we get to the end, it gets a little bit looser as it tries its best to find what we're looking for and give us some kind of results right so that's the very end of the film strip but if we go uh, let's see it looks like it hit about 71 or so in a row that were a spot on oops come back film strip and i can't guarantee you that these are sea lions folks i mean maybe these are walruses but they look like sea lions to me maybe they're seals but i'm happy with the results if i i said sea lion and this is what i got i'm i'm not a marine biologist, so I could be wrong. Maybe there is somebody out there in the audience right now going, that's not a sea lion. That's a walrus or that's a, it's something else. But at any rate, like I said, I'm happy with the results. And this was exactly what I was looking for. So let's go back over to the library, plug in extras, and let's look at some others. So let's say we wanted to search for people. We could do that. Uh, we could search for faces. So if we brought up the search for faces interface, we have a bunch of different selections here. Now, essentially, what this is going to do is just find exactly what we're telling it. Find us uh, one face or a single portrait or two faces or several faces of babies, children, teenagers, adults, or the elderly. All right, so let's try elderly, single portrait. And let's just see what we get. Now, I'm, it's telling me right now, it looks like there's 396 that match. Let's just hit start. It's going to give us, by default, 100. And we can, of course, change that, as I mentioned earlier. And we have portraits of seniors. So let's take a look. And looks like Exire Search has really nailed it. Again, uh, exactly what we told it we wanted. And that these are the, exactly the results that we're getting right now. So spot on. Let's take a look at some other things. Now, let's say we just wanted this one particular gentleman right here. And there we go. Let's go back over to our library, plug in extras. And then we could say search for people. And let's bring up the search for people interface. And there we go. It recognizes the face and it gives us a few options. So. You know, do we want them smiling, not smiling, eyes open or closed, or, or we don't care. If we check none of those, we don't care, okay? Face count, well, let's just say we only want one face. How similar, right? Usually I leave this at default, but we can become more restrictive and find only pictures that look exactly like this gentleman or very loose um, and find people that look similar. So we'll leave it at the default of 30. Uh, we could add in keywords into this as well, but I don't really think that we need to do that. And again, how many pictures do we want back? So do we want 100 back, or do we want way more than that, or way less? Let's just say we want 20. We're going to search the whole catalog. Let's just hit start, and let's see what happens. And now there we go. And we have 20 results of this gentleman that we were looking for. Okay, so amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. A huge time saver in Lightroom, and it works so well. Let's do a little bit more with it. Okay, let's go right on back to library, plug in extras. So we've searched for faces, we've searched by keyword, we've searched for people. Uh, we could search for duplicates in our catalog. Uh, we can search for people with previous. In, in other words, let's just take a look at this. Let's go to here, library. Uh, plug in extras. Okay, and let's take a look. It's going to give us the same results. Right, exactly the same because we're searching for the previous photo that we looked at, which was this one. But, and then let's just say, for example, we were looking for something like, let's say we were looking for a, a manatee. Right now, a manatee is kind of a rare uh, sea creature. And 
let's see, where are we? Search by keyword. Let's search for keyword, right? And let's type in manatee. Now, Xire doesn't know what a manatee is. There's no keywords for it. It's not perfect, right? But so what can we do about that? Well, let's take a look. Let's cancel this out. And let's take a look and let's find us some uh, manatees. All right, let's look for a better one. Not thrilled with that one. All right, so let's go up to library and let's go into plugin extras and let's do search by example photo. Okay, so we want to find photos that are similar to this one and we'll leave it at restrictive at 50%. Well, let's make it a little more restrictive. Let's say we want to be a lot more similar to that. Let's search our whole catalog. Let's hit start with 100 results and see how XR does. Okay, so let's take a look. And now there we go. So we did make this a little bit more restrictive. So we did have only 38 results. We didn't have 100, but we have 38 really good results, which I am very happy about. All right, so let's take a look at these. And you can see here from the screen, I mean, you know, that one probably didn't hit the mark, but and it looks like we might have a couple of dolphins thrown in there, but that's okay. Overall, we did get exactly what we were looking for here. We got a whole bunch of manatees, and that's exactly what we were looking for, and I'm very happy with that. And I probably could have gave it a better example photo or gave it a little bit more loose restrictions, but the, the bottom line is it mainly found manatees and it, it doesn't have a keyword for manatees it doesn't know what manatees are so it was really only searching for similar photos and it nailed it so you can see how useful that can be to you in your day-to-day -day work uh, in Lightroom all right so how do you get it well just head on over to the website you'll see it's $99 for Mac or the Windows version it's XR search 2022 and you can grab it from there. Also save 10% with coupon code SHUTTERSPEAK. I'm gonna leave a link for you down below in the video description as well for your convenience. And if you're upgrading, it's only $29 if you have a previous version of XR Search. But again, the newest version of course is XR Search 2022. And that would be of course the one that I would recommend that you get because it is the current version. So once you do get it, you do have to initialize your catalog and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so once you do download and install Exire Search, you do need to initialize it. So initializing it's fairly straightforward. Just go up to library, plugin extras, and then you will say initialize photos. And once you do that, an option's gonna come up and say, hey, do you wanna do the entire catalog? And do you wanna use the Mac CPU? That'll just make it quicker and once you hit start, you'll be ready to roll. So, hey, um, you know, it's fairly simple to do it. This is time consuming though for it to catalog your entire photo uh, library and keyword it, especially if you have a ton of pictures and if you have a lot maybe on an external drives and things like that. So definitely be patient with it and let it run. And once it's done, of course, you'll be good to go and finding Photos will literally just be a snap. So couldn't be happier with this product and I think you will be too. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please help me out by taking a moment out of your day to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates to this channel. It's the best way you can thank me for anything in this video that might've been helpful to you. And of course, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about Xire. And um, you know, if you know me and you know this channel, you know, I'm almost always going to respond. I try to respond to almost everybody and almost every comment. So, hey, thanks for watching, folks. Can't wait to see you next time, YouTube. Bye-bye.